Why should worship leaders meditate? That's an important question. Most times people think that meditation is just for pastors or for prayer warriors. No. Why should worship leaders meditate? Have you ever asked yourself that question? In my last episode, I talked about meditation for worship leaders. And I, I explained, you know, meditation in that episode. If you don't understand what meditation is for worship leaders, please go back there and play that video and understand it before coming to this one. Because this is a continuation of what I talked about in the previous one. Why should worship leaders meditate? What is the benefit of meditation for worship leaders? For starters, meditation gives you a proper understanding of God. It gives you a proper understanding of God and His will. If you spend time meditating on the Word of God, I mentioned in another episode that for worship leaders, meditate in two different ways. Meditate on the Word of God, which is the, the scripture that God has given to us, and also meditate on the songs you are singing. So that means before you meditate a song, you spend time and meditate on the words on that song. So now, let me now break, break it down for you that when you meditate, the first benefit is that it gives you a proper understanding of the person you are worshipping. Because if you spend time x-raying the word of God, how the word of God describes God, you will see that it begins to magnify God in your heart. It begins to bring the bigger picture of God in your mind. It starts making you to see God in his true form and in his true power. That is why David remained the man after God's heart. Why? Read the book of Psalms. What you are seeing there are meditations. They are, they are words that are born out of deep understanding of, of a relationship that he has had with God for many years. And then they're born out of the time spent with God, looking at him from different angles and understanding his fatherhood, understanding his godship, understanding his, uh, his judgment, his being a just God, and every other attribute of God in the process because he was x-raying God in his meditation of him. And then he gave him a strong picture of who God is. As a worship leader, you need to take your worship to the next level where you begin to worship in the deep. Bible said that God seeketh those who worship Him in truth and in spirit. There is no how you can worship in truth and in spirit when you don't have an understanding of who you are worshiping. God is a spirit, and those that will worship Him must worship Him in truth and in spirit. How can you worship God in spirit when you are not spiritual, when you've not sat down to dip yourself into the well? Of spiritual experience with the Holy Spirit how will you worship God in total submission when you don't even submit yourself to your pastor because it begins with that some of us we are too stiff we cannot express love to anyone we can't express loyalty to anyone we can't express obedience to anyone we can't express commitment to anyone and so the same way we can't express submissiveness to the holy spirit why because we are too stiff and to work with the holy spirit one must be submissive and to submit you need to begin to meditate on the things that god said as a worship leader because it's a burden many, many people don't understand that worship leading is not entertainment it's not go out there and make people you know smile make people dance make people you know feel comfortable entertain people that's not what worship, worship is all about worship leading is a burden it's a responsibility you are taking people to places they've not been you are giving them experiences that's why as a worship leader you need to be filled with the holy spirit because when you open your mouth ordinarily music is spiritual then how much more when you are singing gospel songs you are singing the word of god your heart is dirty your heart is not open to to the holy spirit you are stiff how will you distribute that water that are flowing from your belly as worship leaders we are vessels and because we are vessels we are continuously in need of being filled and that means we will always remain in the position of emptiness I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. We need to always go out and empty ourselves and then come back and assume the position of emptiness again to receive and then to go back and pour out. We come back again, we receive and then go back and pour out. And to receive, one must meditate. Meditation gives you a bigger picture of God. It, it describes God to you. It gives you an insight into who God is because you are deepening yourself into the words of God in the scriptures. You are deepening yourself into the words of the songs you are singing that people wrote based on their understanding. For example, a man wrote, it is when paid like a river, at the end my way, when sorrows like seas below the road, the man had a problem that made him to write that song. Now, what he was thinking that came back to that song, by meditating on those particular words, you also have an idea, you are able to tap into the realm he operated in to be able to minister those words in that song with power 
and anointing. That is one of the things that meditation does for you. The second thing, I just talked about it now, is that it gives you power. It brings the words you are singing to life. It brings the words you are singing to life. So maybe you are singing those words in a logos form, just singing them. You've been singing it all your life. Those same words. Hey, hallelujah. Hey. Now and on to the Lord upon the throne. We raise a song. So you're just singing it like normal before. But when you start meditating on that song, it begins to bring that words, those words to life. Behold the Lamb, behold the Lamb. Now, you've not had a picture of the Lamb because you've always thought about the Lamb as just maybe one sheep somewhere. But now because you spend time meditating on this word, behold the Lamb, behold the Lamb, behold the Lamb, begin to see the Lamb in His true form, in His true nature, knowing fully well that He's no more in the grave, He's now risen and He's now the King of kings and Lord of lords. The picture comes to life to you. So when it comes to life to you, most times you bust out and you scream because you now have an understanding of the Word of God. When you go on the stage, you see yourself singing those words with understanding. And sometimes you break down and cry. Sometimes you enter into a different realm and start speaking in tongues. Why? Because of understanding. Because those words have come to life. They have come to power. So, meditation helps bring the words you are going to sing to life. It empowers the words. It transforms those words from normal words that people can just read and sing into weapons. So, why won't you meditate? When you know that when you meditate, you become more powerful. The words that are, that are singing becomes something else. God turns you to a battle axe using the words you are singing to do great and mighty things in the life of people. So, it is important for you to meditate as a worship leader because that is where your power comes from. That's the difference between somebody who leads worship empty and somebody who leads worship and something happens. So you can have two people leading worship in the church and one person may not have the best voice but she spends so much time on the word of God, she he meditates on the word of God, he sits down on the word of God and then afterwards, after understanding and magnifying God in his mind, he goes to the altar and says with his not so good voice and something happens. I have somebody else who believes so much in her voice, she has a very very high soprano and knows how to tweak her soprano because she has a dramatic soprano and then when she goes on stage, she still sings that same song and everybody claps their hand. Wow! wonderful performance and that is all meditation you have to get past the level of just singing to entertain people or to make them feel good to the level where you sing because you want to see a manifestation you must get to that level where you are singing because you want to see the spirit of god move you will be filled with the burden of the church you are ministering that is why as a worship leader you must understand your pastor you must understand your pastor you must understand the way his spirit moves you must understand what triggers the anointing in him because those are the things that will help you soar on that stage and take people to the place because every church has a vision and there is a burden on, on every church that the members that are there are to be fed by the angel of the church the servant of god that is in that church so you are there to help him so you have to meditate on the word of god so that god can use you to meet some certain needs to help the pastor to flow well when you lead worship you prepare the atmosphere for him to ride on do not mind people who lead worship for entertainment purposes there are so many gospel artists out there who their job is just to lead worship to entertain to make money that is not what worship is for worship is not to entertain people it is to solve certain problems prepare people's hearts set them up before god for god to use so the question is are you ready to meditate that's i've, I've just talked about number two which is it brings the words to life what about the number three meditation humbles you as a worship leader by the time you spend time meditating do you know, see how small you are in the scheme of things in god's plan you now understand the burden upon you that god has put upon you for the people when you meditate you now see that you are, you are nothing but a grain of sand in the hand of god because that's why most times you are too proud we spend so much time looking at ourselves we admire ourselves you go to the mirror you look at your eyebrow they're not well arranged you set your eyebrows you know your lipstick is not fine no I, I need to look very beautiful you know you you put your pancake so all the while before you go on stage you are so full of yourself so you go there there's nothing to offer because all that is standing there is flesh carnality singing on the stage but when you meditate you put yourself in the right position at the feet of the cross and then something begins to enter into you you are properly positioned then number four meditation renews your strength 
most times worship leaders have problems we have issues too we are human beings we go through problems like everyone else we suffer heartbreaks we suffer house rent issues we suffer lack of money we suffer sack uh, from offices we have problems and then in the, in the process we lost hope we lost our strength we lost our focus we lost everything and we even begin to backslide because of the things that we face meditation can help put you back in place it renews your strength it brings about the picture of who you are and who you are serving it makes you not makes you to forget yourself forget the things you are going through and then begin to see yourself as a, a different person begin to see yourself as somebody who is cared for even though you don't see things you're looking for physically you know that they are there so as a worship leader meditation can help you renew your strength it can help you reorganize yourself it can help you pick yourself up from the place of sorrow and then put yourself in the place of happiness or in the place of joy in the lord most of the songs you sing can first of all minister to you the joy of the lord is my strength 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 now you start drawing he gave me living water and i thirst no more so you begin to draw strength from those words why because those words they don't come alive to you you see that there is still joy in the lord even though things are falling apart so then you draw strength and your strength is renewed meditation can do so much for you as a worship leader that is why you should not joke with meditation you should take it as seriously as the craft as the skill you have on the, on the stage it is very very important that you begin to meditate so i hope you are meditating from now on meditate in the word of god meditate on the songs on the songs that you are going to sing meditate on them let these things come alive so that you can begin to exercise authority because by the time you begin to understand the word of god authority begins to flow from what because now you understand the word so the fifth point is that meditation gives you authority it gives you the power to exercise authority on the word of god now you have proper understanding of the word of god so you can actually begin to bask in the ambience of taking the word of god with power and authority why you understand it you understand the word the word is life to you you know that what you're saying is authority that when god says it this way that's the level where worship leaders begin to heal the sick they begin to raise the dead you are leading worship people are falling under the anointing people are standing up from the wheelchair blind, blind eyes are seeing deaf ears are hearing people are beginning to burst into new tongues because you are leading worship with understanding and with power and authority of on, of the word of god that is that resides in you so meditation can give you all these five things if you meditate you can get all these five things and it will empower you and energize you and you can begin to do great things in the name of god why don't you start meditating today and let me know the effect it has on you by the time you start you can just comment below and tell me how you feel please leave a comment below and let me know what are the other things you need to talk about as far as worship leading and presenting is concerned so i can do a video to respond to it in our next episode i'll be talking about leading worship with manifestation i know you want to lead worship and there is manifestation there is a backing by the holy spirit so stick around so that the next content i'll be dropping you can follow and see how you can lead worship with manifestation see you on the next one